numeracy class 2. Our topic for this first lesson is revision, counting and writing of numbers up to 500. In this lesson, the objectives are counting up to 500, writing numbers up to 500, identifying numbers up to 500. Let us remind ourselves of some numbers. Identify and count in order numbers 1 to 54. I will give you some minutes to do that. All right. Did you observe that the first number is in the first grid, followed by 2, then we have 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, and on and on like that until you get to 54. Now let's go into the lesson proper. The topic for this lesson is counting and writing of numbers up to 200. And of course we need to set our objectives for the lesson. The first one is Counting numbers up to 200, writing numbers up to 200, and of course, identifying numbers up to 200. Now, let us count in ones, starting from 101. After 101, we have 102 followed by 103, then we have 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Now let us count in tens, starting from 110, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, and of course 200. Now, for us to be able to count and write 1 to 200 correctly, we need to master our ending numbers. So let's go counting. We have 9. After 9, we have 10. Then when we have 19, it's followed by 20, 29, 30, 39, 40, 49, 50, 59, 60, 69, 70, 79, 80, 89, 90, 99, 100. Then let's look at this one. 109, 110, 
119, 120, 129, 130, 139, 140, 149, 150, 159, 160, 169, 170, 179, 180, 189, 190, 199, 200. Then let us look at this tricky one. After 99 comes, did I hear you say 100? Well done. Then what do you think we follow after 199? 200. Good. Well done. We have this activity for this lesson. The instruction there is fill in the missing numbers. The very first number there is 101. What do you think we follow? Did I hear you say 102? Good. Followed by 103. Up until you get to the last box before 200. Yes. What do you think will be there? Oh, I guess you know that. I'll give you some minutes to do this activity. Are you done? Now, check your answer with this. I believe you got everything. Give yourself a clap. Well done. Welcome to lesson two. Our topic for this lesson is counting and writing of numbers up to 300. Our goals for the lesson are counting numbers up to 300, writing numbers up to 300, and identifying numbers up to 300. Before we go on, let us revise our previous lesson. Trust you can answer these questions. The first one is, what number comes immediately after 89? The next one is, what number comes immediately after 199? Followed by, what number comes immediately before 149? And the last question for this session is, what four numbers come immediately after 109? Trust you got all the answers. Well done. Let us look at some ending numbers. 209, 210, 219, 220, 229, 230, 
239, 240, 249, 250, 259, 260, 269, 270, 279, 280, 289, 290, 299, 300. Remember, after every 99 comes the next 100. That is why 299 being followed by 300. Now, let us go on to the activity in this lesson. The instruction is fill in the missing numbers. The first number there is 201, followed by 202, 203, 204. Then we have a gap in between. Up to the last point where you have to fill in the missing number. Trust you can do this. I'll give you some minutes to do that. How did it go? Now check your answer with this. Did you get everything? Well done. Give yourself a clap. Welcome to lesson three. In this lesson, we shall be counting and writing up to 400. Our objectives for this lesson are counting numbers up to 400, writing numbers up to 400, identifying numbers up to 400. Let us revise our previous lesson. What number comes immediately after 309? What number comes immediately after 329? What number comes immediately before 350? Can you answer this? What are the three numbers that come immediately before 381? Did you get all of that? Well done. Now, let us look at these ending numbers. 309, 310, 319, 320, 329, 330, 339, 340, 349, 350, 359, 360, 369, 370, 379, 380, 389, 390, 399, 400. Always remember that after every 99 comes the next 100. Now, let us do this exercise. The instruction is fill in 
the missing numbers. The first number there is 301. The next one, 302, followed by 303. Then we have 304 and all like that until you get to the last box. Trust you can do this. How did it go? Did you find it very easy? Very good. Now check your answers with this. Welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we shall be counting and writing up to 500. And of course, we need to set our objectives for the lesson. The first one is counting numbers up to 500. Writing numbers up to 500. And the third one is identifying numbers up to 500. But before we go on, let us revise our previous lesson. What number comes immediately after 439? What number comes immediately after 479? What number comes immediately before 460? What are the three numbers that come immediately after 489? Did you get all of that? Well done. Now let's go on to see these ending numbers. 409 is followed by 410. 419 is followed by 420. Then we have 429 being followed by 430. 439, 440. Can we count together from here? 449, 450, 459, 460, 469, 470, 479, 480, 489, 490, 499, 500. Always remember that after every 99 comes the next 100. Let us go on to the activity in this lesson. The instruction is fill in the missing numbers. The first number there is 401 followed by 402. Then we have 403. Then there is a box following that that is blank. What do you think will be there? Did I hear you say 404? Well done. 
trust you can go on up to the last box. I'll give you a few minutes to do this. Now, check your work with this table to see if you were correct. And I trust you will be correct. Well done. Welcome to Lesson 5. In this lesson, we shall be having a recap of all we have done since the beginning of the week. And of course, we need to revisit the objectives that we set at the beginning of the week. The very first one is counting of numbers up to 500, writing numbers up to 500, and identification of numbers up to 500. Sure, you can answer these questions on the topic. Number one, 207, 208, 209. What number do you think will be after that? Write it there. Question two. Count in ones from 285 to 300. Question 3. Fill the blank spaces. A. 309 dash. B. 319 dash. C. 329 dash. D, 339, dash. Question 4. Which number comes after 399? Trust you have finished. These are the answers to the questions. Let us go on to activity 5. Answer the following questions. Question 1. Which number comes after 219? Question 2. The number that comes before 300 is? Question 3. Fill the blanks 396. 397, 398, 399, dash, dash. Question 4. Write in ones from 488 to 500. Trust you have finished. Now check your answers with this. See you in the next lesson.